Hello my fellow car modelers, how you doing today? Here is the second episode of Luca's Builds. And uh, we got pretty good reaction on these new, uh, this, this new series I should say, of Luca's Builds and Luca's Unbuilds. And uh, I have featured this car many, many moons ago in like I think my second episode when I just kind of gave you a rundown of built models I built to show you what kind of model builder I am and now I figured I'd let you have a really close look of each and every one of them plus many more and uh, this one here is one of my favorites I built it uh, quite some time ago but it was uh, it was one a car that I, I always loved it's the AMT 49 Ford and I just had this idea of building one that uh, you know not not a bomber not a, not it's not a rusted rust bucket or anything like this but like what I do with all my model builds is I invent a story of the car about the car about the person who owns the car and I build the model with that kind of story behind in, in my head and the story of this one is this is probably something like in the eh, probably mid 70s early mid 70s and kid got his uh you know hot rod he just paints it flat black primer black and uh you know goes out on the weekends and and races on the dirt roads with everybody and this is you know after a night of racing as you can tell i wanted to have it a little dirty but it's not a dirty grungy car you can see it's well kept and we'll start showing you other things about it but it is a used car. He races it. It's never been a restored thing. It's not a show car, obviously. It's just some kid's weekend hot rod or his first car and just, you know, just has a good time with it. It's got some customization slights of some sorts to it here and there, but it's pretty much just a, you know, a hot rod. And uh, um, just trying to go with that 70s vibe with uh, the wheels and the tires that I chose to use. I started out with a, an old vintage version of the 49 Ford from AMT, the Cruising USA kit. I was inspired though by another uh, box art from another kit that I still have of the 40 Ford, probably came out in the 70s I would say, that, that box art right there. And, um, that was kind of my uh, kind of my inspiration for this model and uh, so let's get on to showing it to you and we're taking a nice little roundy round look of it but uh, just to point out a few things before we go any further just I uh, had little caked up bits of mud right there and there and the wheel wells and of course the tires and the Krager SS's are all mudded up there's a little bit of rust right down here you know it's it's an old used car at this point nothing worth a lot of money back then and uh, you know you can see I did all this streaking of dirt I back when I did this in like 07 08 um, I basically used testers paints just regular little bottle paints to do a lot of the stuff and some of the stuff I I think I had uh, um, I think I had some to me um, like a pen or I, I think I, I I can't remember if if I had that mud pen or I might have built up the mud that you see just caked up you know behind the wheels there actually it's probably like some kind of putty and I just kind of mudded up and then painted it and uh, we're gonna take a look at the underside here in a little bit and you 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 will see how I did all that but you know I just got some mud and crud and it looks like it could all be washed off but just a dirty car. I kind of shot all the chrome with a little bit of dull coat, put a little bit of rust and some color into into that with the airbrush. I used some brush techniques to get that flicking going up, and then I took my airbrush and just kind of fogged the whole under, uh, you know, lower panels there, rockers and the lower portions of the quarters. Just fogged it with a uh, like it was a an earth tone, probably like a light tan or something, just a tester's color. It was uh, not a big deal. And so we've got all that. Um, let's uh, move on to looking at the rest of the car. So what's the first thing you want to see on a hot rod when you come up and start talking and yakking to the guy? Hey, what you got under the hood? Well, let's see what we got under the hood here. Let's pop the hood. And we've got ourselves a little bit of a hot rodded engine here. Kind of... Uh, 
I would say um, a little bit of a later model engine that they probably dropped in there. You can see it's got like Cobra Jet valve covers, but that's just a you know a little 302 it could be or something like that or Hypo 289 something like that. But uh, you know the guy uh, doing his hot rod and stuff, and you can see the engine bay is pretty filthy from running on those dirt roads. We want to get see if you can get a good look in there. And what we have here, as you can see, a resin Excel Super Coil, because you know the hot rodder's got to have his spark. And uh, let's take a look on the other side. There's, you can see that there's a XL Super. Um, XL ignition and uh, looks like uh, there's a uh, fuel line down in there. I don't know if you can see it. There's just a, a metal fuel line right there. Just did simple detailing to it. I didn't go too overboard. Just wanted to look pretty cool under there. And big thing is getting it all dirtied up. And we'll take a look underneath here, underside of the engine. You can see the uh, the headers kind of sort of headers just went ahead and really get you up close just kind of dirtied it up a bit under there with some paint techniques but you can see it's Ford engine blue I don't remember what engine that is I think it's from one of the monogram Mustangs but I'm not for sure and uh, looking down you see how the whole thing is just grunged up just did it all with testers paints and um, you can see how I did that little uh, build up of mud effect right there and basically got the tire treads all dirty and rusted up the exhaust it just kind of hanging there with a couple of cherry bombs just drifting off into the air you know, who cared there wasn't no going to the emission station and getting tested didn't care about that but really just out of the box I didn't do anything spectacular We'll take a little closer look at the uh, mud flicking detail that we did on the sides. And uh, like that. And if you can see in here, we'll take a look at the interior that you can see from you know just outside the car. I have to say I did not come up with this idea for the interior on my own. Um my old buddy Dave that you saw in a past video, we went to the IPMS show a couple years ago. He did a really, really cool all black 53 Studebaker that he did the interior up with this style, you know, that, that red um, plaid. And uh, what it was was it's just craft ribbon. He gave me some of that, and that's what I used in this, and just to kind of give it kind of a, a little interior look. See if we can get some better angles. It's tough to see that stuff. Can you see it in there? And in the back seat, if you can see into the back seat, there's like some old car magazines all stacked up in there. You know, hey, this was a car guy. You can see by the old uh, stickers on the windows, because that's what you do. You put stickers on the windows, it helps you go even faster. Back in, way, way, way back in here, you see this red, I used red spark plug wire to do like uh, simulated postery tubing and stuff like that. You can see it kind of in the back there. Hope you guys are getting a good gist of how the whole interior looks. Really basic with the gauges and dashboard. Didn't do anything exciting. I hand painted the gauges in there. Stock steering wheel just kind of dirtied it up a bit. The paint that I used, well I'll tell you, this wasn't a blow it off paint job and I didn't just oh let's shoot it flat black be really quick about it and I actually took a lot of time with this paint job I did a lot of uh, primer and sanding primer and sanding primer and sanding and uh, got this really nice smooth effect if you can see from doing all that prep work and then I shot it with to me a semi-gloss it was either, I want, I'm, you know, again, this was a long time ago. I'm pretty sure it was semi-gloss black. I don't think it was flat black. But it might have been flat black. But anyways, it was to me. It went on so smooth. But the big trick was the fact that I, I and you can really see it on the hood here. 
is that I really did a lot of primer and sand and a lot of prep work to get a nice smooth paint job even though I was going for a, a you know lackluster paint job flat paint job so here's a good a little bit better shot of uh, looking down at it and uh, I do have hinges on the on the hood there but you know, AMT's hinges don't really work that great on those old kits it won't really stay up sometimes I'll have a a prop I'll, I'll display it at a show like that with a prop because I, I like to have the hood like it would be on a real car I don't like removing the hood too much but there you go um, pretty slick neat little car it was a fun project I had a really great time building this and uh, the first show that I took it to not long after I finished building it a whole bunch of us went out to San Bernardino California to the Route 66 rendezvous that they do at San Bernardino. I believe the show still goes on as far as a big car show. One of the most unique car shows I've ever been to where there's this whole part of San Bernardino they block off and it's like a it's cruising for four days around this four or five block area and all the cars that are entered into the show park on the side the road and you sit there and you got a moving car show and the cars are cruising all day and they go by it's a really neat show if you ever get to go see it if it's still going on some friends of ours were putting on a model car show in, in this little old mall there and uh you know we always heard about it and we went out there and it was it was really neat there were some great models there uh really had a good time great group of guys we uh started becoming friends with back in those days and uh uh, this car happened to be perfect for what their theme was. It was called Looks Good in Suede. Thought that was pretty cool. This was perfect. You know, they were wanting to hit that. Uh, the popularity was really rolling with rat rods at the time, about 11 years ago. Yeah, and this was about 2008, and uh, I won the class. It was pretty cool. I won the theme of the show, I should say. I was pretty proud of that. It was a really nice little plaque they gave me, and it's right up on my wall, and... I enjoy looking at it still you know this is it was fun to uh, you know take this out in his first outing and get uh, a little bit of recognition because there were some really cool cars there uh, a lot of really great builders let's get a little other side shot of it here and uh, you can see all the grunge build up down in here and a little bit of rust like I said just a little surface rust pretty neat fun project it was I really enjoyed it I had a good time building this model there it is. There's my 49 Ford. I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at it with me. And, uh, you know, we're going to do more of these. Let me know what you think. Thanks a ton for the support. Like and subscribe this channel. Get on over to Model Car Hobby Headquarters Facebook group. Join up there if you haven't. There's a lot of great things going on there. Great models are getting posted up. Great tips. Some cool, cool conversations. We're having a good time over there. I want to thank my Patreons. There you guys are. I'm keep on getting some more. You guys are really starting to help out a lot and support the channel. And get out there and let other people know about this channel. If you got model car buds that never heard of Model Car Hobby Headquarters or Lucas C Channel, let them know, man. Get them over here and keep on putting your ideas and suggestions. You know I listen to you. You know I read all those comments. And you guys fuel me. You give me ideas. You guys said that you liked this, so I kept on doing it. So we'll do another Unbuilds. We'll do another Lucas Kits. And, of course, we'll do the main show, Model Car Hobby Headquarters, here real soon. And you know what I say on this show? My outro is go build model cars because they're fun.